Welcome back, everybody. This is Miko Amore, and today we are revisiting one of the first games I ever played on my channel. <clears throat> okay, it's time to figure out what's on this thing. We know what's on this thing because we played this already. Well, what's the game, you ask? Well, it is. That's right. I'm back in. I'm back in. in, in I'm back in, in. In. I'm back in inscription. I'm back in inscription. I went to. I loaded up the game the other day to play it, and all my saves are gone. Like I had already beaten the game, which is on my channel. Don't go watch those old videos. They're super cringe, and I don't like them. But here we go. Let's go through this game once again. Continue because you can't do a new game at the start of this game. It makes you choose continue. New game was not an option. My boy Leshy. I might do voices like I did originally. I did voices. I'm going to do voices. Another challenger. It has been a change. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. I'm trying to go for a little Jason Steele type voice. I love my Jason Steele voice. Play the square card. Now play your stoop. Oh no, I just ate the squirrel. Wolves require two sa- oh. That was a totally different voice. Wolves require two sacrifices. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Bro, I'm gonna forget that voice. Your stout stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power one. Your stout dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you attempt my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stout stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stout. That means your stout's health is two less. If that creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a square. Oh my god, why is the card going in the table? Why is it doing that? Uh, physics is broken. How dull. Your face is dull, bro. Kill the coyote! You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Because you are learning, I will pass. I'm not learning, bro. I know how to play this game. We're gonna do a wolf. Go wolf. Wolf boy. Four damage dealt. Four weights on the scale. You won this match. They won't all be so easy. I bet they will. Let me recall your story. Oh, uh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. I will go here first. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The adder and the cat. I love a kitty cat. So, some of the creatures of the forest are willing to follow you. No, duh. So, I've played this game more than any other game in my Steam. I have over 200 hours playing this game. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a square in a bottle. Break it in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to skip the, 
just tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. What was that saying? Oh yeah, I've had over 200 hours playing this game. There's only like three games, four games that I've played over 200 hours, and this is one of them. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> you didn't sacrifice me. How kind. Maybe you'll help me? Take your time. Play along for now. You may see my moves ahead of time. Okay, what are we doing first? We got a wolf cub. We're gonna do it yet. And a kitty cat. And a meow meow meow. And a meow meow meow. There we go. The cat, the symbol means you can use it for unlimited sacrifices, except for the cat. If you do it nine times, it transforms. But it's the only card with that symbol that transforms after you sacrifice it so many times. Mind the ambitious with them. It's AJ Swiftly. Now we're gonna play as turtle. I like turtles. Oh god. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your stone. Now your bat dead, boy. Here we go. I'm about to kill your wolf. Aya! Oh no, you poor baby. Take this. Overkill. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the that now bloody terrain. A young wolf cub it burns into a wolf after a single turn. A sparrow. I don't really like flying cards, so we're going wolf cub! And I'm gonna try to make my videos a lot shorter. Like, I'm not gonna do them for an hour anymore because they just take too long to edit. I'm gonna try to keep them between 30 and 40 minutes. No longer than 40 minutes. At least, I'm gonna try. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Sacrifice the wolf cub. <laughs> oh, you wanna you wanna get transformed? Hmm. Hmm. So if I put that symbol on him, that means his attack becomes two and then his defense becomes four? Or five. Four. Or five. I don't remember. We can do it. <laughs> well an honor. Yes, a spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stone. Oh man, a totem battle. These are so hard. I lose these all the time. Now his canines can fly. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Mm. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro boy. Since he's attacking directly, he won't back on the board. He won't attack my stoop. Hey ya! My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. That was big damage. Uh, give me that. Boom. Aha. Another wolf. Get him. That's more like it. You're three damage away from winning.
Kill the wolf. And I will win in this turn. Yeah. Go show much overkill. Those are usually really difficult, but I did pretty good that time. Impressive. You may get your vibe this ordeal. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, let's go here. Boom. Grizzly. No. River snapper. Already got one. Porcupine. Put the porcupine symbol on something else. Yeah, I'm gonna put the porcupine on something. So this one, I go here and I can make a creature a little bit stronger, and then I can go here and fuse creatures together. But I don't really have anything I want to fuse together. I mean, I can put the porcupine on something like the turtle. Let's go make a creature strong. Across a small group of survivors. They say shrunking from starvation, they huddled around a the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and reckoned. Come, oh, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of survivor wiping drool from their mouth. I need to do that too. Hmm. Woof, woof, woof. River snapper. Cat. I'm gonna eventually put an attack on the cat. And we're gonna, we're gonna go with him. Take that. The fire warmed the poor stoke, enhancing its power. See, now when he transforms, he'll be three, three, five, instead of, uh, two, five. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stick away from the fire and left. Oh, here comes the battle. <laughs> There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in the foul cabin. Be silent or I will tell you to shrink. Grizzly Sparrow. Grizzly Sparrow. Uh, okay. That Grizzly is gonna to kick my booty. Uh, crap. We're gonna do this. So that way... When he attacks the bat, he's gonna take damage. Oh, not another grizzly! I thought I'd read you. I think I'm supposed to lose this one. <laughs> what spot? You sure? I'm not sure, but I don't really have another choice. Yep. Uh, this is a scripted loss. Just go ahead and take my boo boos. Bye. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. He wants this. But there's so much more I can do in here. Yes. I'll get a free card if I blow out all three of these candles. Every time you lose, one of the candles gets lit up. And then you can blow them all out and get a new card. All right, let's grab that candlestick. Bring it here. 
Okay, master. Sheesh, you don't have to be so rude. I'm trying to sit down. There you go. Now sit back down. Sitting. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Hmm, I can go here. I get a new item there. And I can level up a creature again here. We're gonna go to level up a creature. We'll do another porcupine. Another porcupine. Survivors said nothing at all. They did not stop licking their lips. Let's see. Cat, I'm a kitty cat. And a meow, meow, meow. And a meow, meow, meow. Cat, I'm a kitty cat. And a meow, meow, meow. And a meow, meow, meow. Boss bite! Alright, so now for this fight, I don't want to have any of my favorite cards on the board for his first life. See how he's got two candles here? When he blows out one of them, then he turns all my cards on the board into gold stones, gold rocks, uh, gold nuggets, gold. So I don't want to have anything important on the field first. So we're going to go with the squirrel and a porcupine. Go. Take that point. He's gonna cat Coyote is gonna attack me and I'm gonna kill him. And now I'm gonna play the other porcupine here. And then it's gonna go one for one again. He's gonna kill my porcupine and I'm gonna kill him. And there we go. Okay. I got the cat. I don't wanna use that cat yet. Still don't want to use it. Um, uh, Play my turtle. Do some damage to the mule. That coyote is going to destroy that rock. I'm going to let him do it. He's doing the prospector again. He's a boss. The mule is key. Yay, yay! This is gonna be close. Ooh, a wolf! Don't wanna play my stoke yet. Don't really wanna play my cat yet either. It'll help so I can play my wolf when I'm ready. I think I'm gonna play my wolf my next turn. I'm gonna draw a squirrel. And then I'm gonna think I'm gonna play my wolf. Yep. We're gonna kill this coyote. Alright, but now all three of these cards are gonna get turned into gold nuggets! Alright. Hit that mule three more times. What? Oh, that mule's dead now. Let's keep going. Let's see what I get. Squirrel, skunk, snake, sparrow. Big nabbit, my mule! And I took his life out. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. 
there's gold in them cards. Yep. My poor cat. But. Gold, abstract gold. But this is exactly why I left an empty space. I'm gonna play my squirrel, then my stove. Okay. Uh huh. Bloodhound is gonna attack the gold nugget. Uh, I need to play something in front of that bloodhound. I guess the skunk is the only thing I can do right now. So I'll place the skunk. And then, ghost dope. Win this game. Uh. You dead, boy. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. I love my Jason Steele voice, even though I just didn't do it right. But it's okay. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. <laughs> Choose carefully. Oh, we got a child 13, a strange larva, and a Yura Yuli. If I was to rank these cards, I would probably give the Yuri Yuri a C class. Strange Larva would be an, a B or an A, probably a B. And Child 13, I would definitely give an A to. I really like Child 13. It transforms and it has uh, unlimited sacrifices. Except it's not unlimited. It's the reason it's called Child 13. Uh. Strange Larva, uh, when it transforms, to its final form, it gets a seven attack, just like the Yuri, but it takes three turns, but it's only one blood. So it's one blood and eventually turns into a Yuri in three turns. But Child 13 has unlimited sacrifices. It transforms. I think I'm going to go with Child 13. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry onwards. Oh my. Mm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated, permeated the air. Every step forward was entered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetland. Well, that's it for this one, my guys. This was the first video of my second playthrough through Inscription since I lost all my data. So if you like this video, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload my next video, whether it's Inscription or Dredge or whatever I decide to play next. But until then, I'll catch you later. Peace.